Alright, hello. Um, this is just a short tutorial on how the system works, this new system. So, uh, we, we you know this by now. After hitting the uh, admin login, this is the page that you're going to end up in. And this is where you're going to be viewing all your files. So, these are the two folders that uh, we have created so far. So, if we go into the file, into the folders, um, let's just see if we already is so we did already a test upload and um, when you click on those files you will find on the folders you will find two files or you can upload more which I'll show you in a second how to do that and then from here you can just view this obviously um, just like that and uh, you just close the tab once you are done viewing and um, where is it there it is and then you can just when you go back you can just click on home and then it will redirect you back and then you can just take a look at the second folder okay info uh, this folder is, is empty you can just go back and then when you log out um, you're just going to click on log out okay so that was just the front end you can just only view when you log in using the admin all right so now let's look back let's look into um, the dashboard admin so that you can create files into your folders so you just go here and how you get to this page um, we'll send you the links but uh, for this purpose of the video let's show you you are going to type www.maboho.co.za slash forward slash um, wp dash admin uh, forward slash then enter then from here you get to this page here and then it's just going to be admin and then your password which will be sent to you and then you click on log in then you see this admin page here please do not tamper with any of the folders and files um, all you do is you're going to scroll down and then you're going to click on set you're going to hover on setting settings and then you're going to go to wp docs click on that then from here you will see a screen like this so what you're then going to do is um, when you want to create a new folder you're just going to click here on the folder right on the folder new folder click and then it's created another one click and then it's created and another one 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 so let's just leave it up to that to those ones maybe let's just stretch it a bit all right so you get now all these folders that you've created right yes all right and then from here what you then can do if you want to create upload files into these folders let's start there so all you do is click on the folder itself and it's going to open like that now all those folders are gone then what you're going to do is you're going to click on add files then it's going to take you to the screen here where you can upload files so you say instead of choosing from here you're probably just going to you want to choose from your computer so it's going to be upload files then you can either open another uh, screen like this and then drag and drop but we're not going to do that then oh, here we're just going to say select and then it's going to take you to your either my computer or your desktop or whatever so i just want maybe any pdf that i can find so you're just going to go to this pdf let's just select one click on it and then um, let's transfer it let's upload it then when you when you get here it's just going to show you a tick like that and then you're just going to go here down and you say insert into post there it is you've created a folder into um, the file so if you want to create a folder inside another folder all you do is just click here new folder and there's going to be another folder created and to open that folder you're just going to go inside the folder and then create a file 
so as you can see the 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 um the routing of this okay that it could maybe this there we go and now if you want to go back you're just going to click here new folder and then it takes you to the folder that you've created where there's something inside and then you're still in a folder then you go home and there and if you now want to rename your folders you're just going to go here click on the pen and then it'll pop up a screen like that erase that and say um, policy all right then you just say okay and it's going to change all right now if you want to then um erase or remove the, the folders let's just make this one unique all right okay now we want to delete this folder called unique what we do is we just hover on top of it and then go to the bin and then say yes do you want to delete this directory yes i do there we go it's deleted now let's create another folder and then come out of this go see what's on the front end um we're gonna click here and then we're gonna rename it call it testing folder all right then go inside that folder and then upload multiple files so you just click on add and let's just upload a whole lot of files uh, how we do that is you can just hold control first and then start choosing the files that you want to upload you will see it's going to leave a, a tick here and there we go but uh, that's enough then we say insert into post then all the folders are inserted here and that's as simple as that of uh, uploading the folders deleting and then editing the name of the file of the folders and then from there we go back into our admin login and then we see the test folder which we have created and a whole bunch of other folders so first we come here and then we say log out right here then we say log out and then we are out then we go back into our um so now this is now your employees or you if you're going to be viewing this um and i believe that this is a it's it's, it's safer because then what it will do is you have the power to just upload and then ev and every and edit and um, delete then your employees will just be looking at the work so now what you do is or you can assign someone who will control this obviously it, it's up to you <laughs> then it's uh, that let's go back in So now this is now an employee or you logging in later on. All right, now we're here. Then we scroll down, we see all these folders that we created. There we go. All right. So now there's not a lot of things on the front end and you have the power at the back end. Then now what we're gonna do is let's try to test it. See? it's only when you search it's even nicer because we set it up in a way that when you just search first word t that test folder comes up let's go into it you just click on it and that comes up and voila there's all the folders that we created now we can view them there we go and that's as much as we can do here we can just view we cannot delete and this is much more safer i think because it just enables you to you know be controlling the things at the back end with the password now if you don't like this look if it's looked if it looks too messy for you you can just always come here and change the thumbnail and it will look something like that oh 
that a little bit smaller and you can still change let's search for policy there's policy p and then we go into it let's see what's inside our policies and there are all the files and you can always just go back if you want to see it in a bigger size yep and let's log out so that's it i hope this is um, enough and this will actually help thank you